These colorful demons that you see on screen are called Calgarian Demons, and outside of Boston, they are considered one of the best money makers inside of the game. And if you have no idea about this money making method, make sure to stay tuned. So let's dive in. In this method, we will be killing Calgarian demons to make their binding contracts. Compared to the other binding contract methods, this one's a little steep when it comes to the requirements. You will need 90 Dungeoneering just to be able to damage the Calgarian demons. You will need 90 Summoning just so you can be able to capture them inside of the binding contracts and or use the Calgarian demon binding contract. I also put on their 90 plus combat as a requirement because these things do hit like a truck and you want to be able to put out as much damage as possible. Just like the other binding contract methods, you will need the Diagon by Mystery completed, which does require 68 archaeology. As for the recommended 95 plus prayer for your curses, if you have them unlocked, if not, I highly suggest going right after that before even attempting to do this kind of method or anything above this method. I also highly recommend 96 plus Herblore so you have your overloads, which could be boosted so you can get the higher tier overloads, but the typical overloads should work with this method as well. You will look around 52 mil GP per hour after expenses, around 350,000 XP per hour for necromancy, and 150,000 XP per hour for constitution. As for the gear, we're going to be using the tier 90 Death Dealer set, the Vampirism Aura, the Zuck Cape, yes, the Zuck Cape, since I've had a lot of comments talking about me using the Zuck Cape, the Demon Horn Necklace, Luck of the Dwarves, which if you don't have the Luck of the Dwarves, it doesn't do too much besides having the rare drop table so any luck enhancer or a dps ring would do here i have the nexus for all of my necro ruins i have the tier 90 weapons as well with the scripture of one god book for the inventory i do have an elder overload salve i bring those everywhere i go but a holy overload would just do as good here Next, we have a full restore flask just in case the demon horn necklace and the ectoplasmator doesn't upkeep with all the ash drops to keep your prayer up and going. Spring cleaners for anything slayer wise, it is important to always take because everything always drops alcohols, and these guys drop a ton of alcohols, which you will see at the end result. We also have a bunch of magic note papers. You don't need that many, but you do need to be able to note all of your binding contracts over time so it doesn't fill up your inventory and you have to keep banking. Next, we have the seed aside. They do drop some seeds, which will help you gain some farming XP, but they don't drop a whole lot. It just helps clean up the floor when you're looking for loot. Ectoplasmator is next. It does go hand in hand with the demon horn necklace. So every ash drop that hits the ground, you pick up immediately and it just uses it and renews your prayer. Charming Nip, which is kind of important here because they do drop a ton of charms and they do drop the blue charms pretty often. So you'll gain back all the blue charms that you used while making the binding contracts. Next that you see on the very bottom right hand corner are the binding contracts, which are probably the most important thing for this method to be in your inventory. Because without them, you can't collect the binding contracts of the Calgarian demons to make your profit. Before we get into it, I'd like to point out that 96% of you are not subscribed to the channel. So if you guys are enjoying what you're watching, make sure to hit that sub button. All right, without that, let's get right back into it. Now, before getting into the actual method, first off, you have to do the agonizing part of making your binding contracts. Now, with this method, I'm about to tell you, you can make about 700 binding contracts in about 20 minutes. So with this method, all you have to do is you go to Taverly, you bring all of the materials, you bring your pouches, your blue charms, your spirit shards, your hellfire metal, and your blood of Orcus. Once you get over to the obelisk, there will be a trader there called Majestix. What you're going to do is you're going to take your Blood of Orcus and your Hellfire Metal, and you're going to sell little by little to the trader in the store. Now, I say little by little because for as long as your materials sit inside of the trader's store, it starts to deteriorate. So you'll notice that I have 1,400 of each Hellfire Metal and Blood of Orcus, and at the end, I only make about 682 binding contracts. So over time, it starts to dis disappear from the store. Now, there are a few ways to be able to get to the Calgarian Demon Dungeon. First off, you would use your Dungeoneering Cape, which would be in your Max Cape, of course. What you're just going to do is you're going to hit the next thing. You're just going to hit the Calgarian Demon Resource Dungeon, and it will pop you right in front of the Calgarian Demon Dungeon door. The next method is use the Archaeology Journal to teleport to the Archaeology Guild. Run over to the table, then you're just going to click on the Damon Hine Dig Site. 
you can use the ring of kingship that you gain from the Damon Hunt area and it will teleport you to the exact same spot. Either way, once you arrive in Damonheim, you will look on your mini-map, you will see either a mining icon or the dungeon entrance icon. Depending on how you have your mini-map set up, you just click over in that area, your character will run over there automatically. Now, once you are in the dungeon, my favorite thing to do is run into the middle or run all the way to the northwest corner. I just run in the middle, I sip on the Elder Overload South, I make sure my God Book is on, my Vampirism Aura is active, and then I hit my Darkness and I just get to work. Now, the way I usually run with the Calgarian Demons is I am active. I'm active when I'm in this dungeon, attacking each one, one by one, putting in my own abilities, having a Revo bar that kind of makes it work to where you gain all your stacks and you just do all of your other stuff manually. As for the Revo bar, it's a little complicated since they do attack from range distance using melee damage, which makes no sense to me. Again, they are so spread apart, so you can't use the certain abilities like Blood Siphon or Scythe since they're so spread apart and it's just not going to maximize your damage. So with the Revo Bar, I have the Death Skulls in the front, Conjure Army, Command Ghost, Soul Strike, Touch of Death, then I have Volley of Souls and then Finger of Death on there. But you guys can play with, around with it as much as possible. I just use that as a Revo Bar and then I just manually input the special ability, maybe a bloat every once in a while. Just as long as you are taking out the Calgarian Demons comfortably and quick. Now, you can make this an AFKable method. You just need higher gear and higher weapons. And then you just bring either a cannon or an Odak coil so they all stay aggro to you. Or you just bring some aggro pots or and holy aggro overloads. And then they'll just be able to attack you while you walk away. But I highly suggest that you have high tier weapons and high tier gear. Maybe with certain perks on them. So you are able to walk away from it. So after doing about 10 minutes of running around killing Calgarian demons, I got about 500,000 GP from just the Alkables. I got 47 Calgarian demon binding contracts, two uncut onyxes, some ruins, some fire talismans. I did leave a bunch on the floor, like all the herbs and all the uncut diamonds, stuff like that. So you can make possibly a little bit more if you picked up everything. But with all of that, I made about 11.5 mil GP which equates about 235 Calgarian demons killed, which means you need to make 235 binding contracts, which you can do in about 10 minutes. And using the last 50 minutes of the hour, killing Calgarian demons, making the binding contracts. Now using 10 minutes of making the binding contract and 50 minutes of actually killing and collecting every single loot on the ground, you're gonna be looking at around 58 million GP per hour, all before the expenses. All your expenses are the typical Hellfire Metals, your Blood of Orcuses, your Ruins, your Divine Charges if you're using anything augmented, your Scripture of When God Book Scripture pages, along with the Elder Overload Salve if you're using any kind of overloads and or the springs inside of your spring cleaner. Now, if you do make this an AFKable method, your profit will drop. Of course, there'll be times where your inventory does fill up too much with your binding contracts and you stop collecting binding contracts or you miss certain drops on the floor. So let's say you miss a couple uncut onyxes, your profits do drop a good bit of margin. But with all of that being said, this is the end of the video. If you guys found anything useful whatsoever, make sure to hit that like button. Maybe even consider subscribing for future content for money-making methods or novice PVM work like you have seen within this video. But until next time, guys, I hope you stay safe. See you.